Adesanya, this is regarding the situation that happened between Israel Adesanya and Drikus Duplassis, right? Finally can pronounce his name properly. I remember calling him Dracos Duplassis, like Dracula or something like that. Oh, is he a zombie? Do you know what I mean? But Drikus Duplassis. And the question is, when Adesanya came in the octagon, was he right to call Duplassis the N-word, right? So he came and said, what's up? you know, my nigga like the N-word, right? So was he right uh, to call Duplassis the N-word? I, th I would say yes. Stop it. Get some help. And the reason why I would say yes is because the word, the N-word is a word that has been appropriated by black people to sound uh, more like a friendly gesture towards someone who's anyone like could be your friends could be anyone including white people whereas in the reverse context if white people use the n-word it's generally got a negative connotation right so when adesanya walked into in the octagon and called him the n-word he's just saying all right what's up my african brother if obviously drikus d plus c's beliefs that he's more african than him i know what the situation is uh, i he's been sarcastic not gonna lie it's not like and explain or demonstrate to him that I'm more African than you are. Hence, he used the N-word, tried to see if Diplosius could say it back. And the fact that he can't say it back really tells you that, you know, it's not black. Do you know what I mean? And I'm just saying that there's a correlation between being black and being African. There's a massive correlation. Whether you lot like it or not, that's a fact. So there's black people that live in the diaspora. There's black people that live in New Zealand. There's black people that live in the Caribbean, in Europe, for example. They're still African, ethnically speaking. That is what matters. It doesn't matter where we were born. What matters is our ethnicity. So Adesanya coming from New Zealand or being raised in New Zealand is irrelevant. He's still African and he's still more African than Diplosis. I know a lot of black people, right, in Britain who were born in this country, who are literally of African origin, so they might be second generation or third generation British, never been to Africa before. But it's still more African than Duplassies. And that's hard for you lot to digest. Do you get what I mean? It's hard for you lot to digest because I made a previous video and all the comments was about, was like from like white South Africans saying, oh, you know, he's African, we're all African. Uh, bro, like, out of all respect, I can admit that you can be South African if you're white. Definitely South African, which is a national identity. But being African is an ethnic identity. And the only way someone can really be African is if you're a black person, ethnically African. So, like, you can trace your roots for generations back in Africa. I can trace my roots back 2,000, 3,000 years from, like, great empires in West Africa, great kingdoms in West Africa, like the Songhai, the Mali, and a lot of different empires, like the Ghana Empire, for example. I can trace that, maybe even the Benin Empire. But like, if you're going to trace your legacy or your DNA as a Caucasian person from South Africa, bro, it's going to take you to some stupid little town in, I don't know, the Netherlands or something. Do you know what I mean? Nobody cares, bro. Like, no one gives a shit. Do you know what I mean? The real African in this particular contest, as I mentioned in the previous video, is Adesanya. And was he right to call him the N-word? Yes, absolutely he was right to call him the N-word. If you're going to go out and say you're more African than a black person, well, be ready to take the repercussions. And repercussions was that Israel Adesanya showed him who the real African is. And, you know, like, there's a lot of toxicity <clears throat> within right-wing sort of, like, platforms like you know right wings youtube channels and stuff like that where some idiot made a video like she's a black chick but she's one of the ones that have lost their minds this 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 but this chick believed that like Duplosis is more african than adesanya and kamaru usman and even francis Ngannou. bro francis Ngannou was born and raised in cameroon he left cameroon just like many african people i know to travel to have a better life. How can you be more African than him? Like, that makes no sense at all, mate. Like, just wake up. Come on, people. Just wake up. Like, I mean, I'm not even going to be joking in the comment sections anymore, right? If I get anybody in the comment sections going, oh, yeah, you know, he's like, he, um, Duplassis is African. 
not only African, but it's more African than that sign. You're like, honestly, like you're gonna get banned. Do you understand that? Yeah, yeah. So the video was definitely about what's that sign? You're right to call him the N word. And as a black person, Adesanya is another black person, so he can say whatever he wants. If he wants to say the N word. I can't stop him. I can't, I can't, I don't have a say. I can't say, oh, you can't use the N-word. He's another black person. Do you get what I mean? He's another black person. So he can say what you want to say. Do you know what I mean? So if he calls Duplassies, my nigga, like the N-word, okay, and what? What? Like, what? what's the big deal? What's the big deal out of it? Who cares? Do you get what I mean? I mean, the South Africans, like, have been treating black people like dogs for centuries. <clears throat> Do you know what I mean? The white ones. I've been treating black people like dogs in South Africa for centuries. I'm pretty sure you've heard of apartheid South Africa, where they've literally colonized for centuries, took away land, uh, took away resources from black people and created a system of segregation that kept black people in poverty for at least a century and a half, bro. Literally. So I don't want to hear any complaints about, oh, this or that. No, 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 no. There's only one African there's two, actually, there's three Africans, more African than Duplassis. Kamaru Usman, the Nigerian nightmare from Auchi, Nigeria. Francis Ngannou from Bati, Cameroon. And Israel Adesanya from Lagos, Nigeria. Ten times more African than that white gazer that lives in South Africa. That f- fucking white meathead. It's like, oh, I'm so African, mate. You're a joke. Like, you're not an African gazer, mate. Go away. Go home. Go to sleep, mate. Do you know what I mean? So the gays are calling you the N word, right? And everyone is like complaining. I s- obviously, I see Duplass is like, is a decent gazer, right? He seems respectful and stuff. Do you get what I mean? I understand that. I think he's a nice gazer. Do you know what I mean? I respect him. He's not like most white South Africans. They tend to be incredibly arrogant, especially like in the comment sections. They try to come for me and that. Like, oh, I am African. I am African. Bro, chill out. Chill, chill, chill. You're not. You're not. Do you know what I mean? There's only African here, mate. There's only one African. Adesanya. Ladies and gentlemen. But I appreciate you lot watching the video though. Um, make sure to smash the like button down below. Obviously, comment and subscribe as well with your notification bell turned on. I really appreciate that because, you know, uh, why not? MMA, the UFC is just killing it at the moment. Dana White is literally the best businessman, the best president, the best CEO ever. Not only in mixed martial arts or combat sports, he's the best CEO in the history of business. From where he took the UFC back in 2001, when the company was literally on the verge of bankruptcy and a Japanese promotion back at the time called Pride was going to buy them. Even WWE was going to buy the UFC at the time. But like what Dana White managed to do was incredible to keep the UFC alive. And today UFC is literally the biggest fight promotion in the world. So congratulations obviously to Dana White. His work ethic is just absolutely flawless. You go, what I mean, he's a hard worker, he's a legend, he's a top G. And uh, make sure to smash the button, like, like button down below, ladies and gentlemen. Comment and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace.